Welcome to today's lesson. So in this lesson, I'm just going to revise some of the questions from the tutorial sheet um, under the topic trigonometry. Yeah, so my name is Hamted. Let's quickly begin. So if you have um, any questions or you would want to find out anything about the lessons or just a question from um, any A-level uh, course, uh, feel free to contact me using the lines on the screen. Or if you want to join tuitions, feel free to contact me on these same lines. All right, so let's quickly begin. Um, the first question from the tour sheet is asking us to write um, the following uh, trigonometric ratios, to write them as um, a ratio, I mean, as a trigonometric ratio of um, positive acute angles. So, this is uh, simple. Yeah, so this is simple. Uh, it's not something that uh, we even need to uh, spend uh, much time to solve. All right, so this one is straightforward. So let's quickly begin to do it. So the first one we have is sine negative 194. So how do we find this? This one is straightforward. So what you just need to do is, okay, let us first write the, we write the, 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 what is the, the quadrant plane here. So we have in the first quadrant there, we know to, to say all the trig ratios are positive. And then in the second quadrant, so this is the first quadrant, this is the first quadrant, and then this is the second um, quadrant. So in this second quadrant, only sine is positive. Here, here sine theta is positive, and only sine is positive in the second. Then in the first quadrant, all three ratios are positive, and then in the third quadrant, only tan theta is positive, and then in the fourth quadrant, it's only um, cos theta that is positive. The rest are negative in the third quadrant apart from cos theta. I mean, in the fourth quadrant apart, apart from cos theta. So this one is the third quadrant. Then this one is the fourth quadrant. And then here, um, here in the third quadrant, uh, all the trig ratios are negative except for tan theta. Then in the second quadrant, all the trig ratios are negative except for sine theta. So only sine is positive. Then in the first quadrant, all the trig ratios sine, cos, and tan are positive. Okay, so when you have a negative angle like this, this implies that um, we know to say we measure angles uh, starting, okay, let me do this. So we measure angles starting from the positive x uh, axis uh, going anti-clockwise like this. So angles are measured anticlockwise in an anticlockwise direction. So whenever you see a negative in front, it means that we're going to measure um, in the opposite direction of the normal uh, where we measure angles. Hey, oh, what I mean is that since there's a negative here, we're going to measure, instead of starting from this side, going this side, we're going to start from this same point, the positive x-axis, but going uh, this other side. So we're going to measure the angle, uh, the negative way. Okay, let me just redraw this. Okay. Okay, so. Let me just draw this properly, okay. All right, so we have negative 194. So we know to say here we have zero degrees. This one is 90 degrees. Here we have 180 degrees. And there we have 270 degrees. So measuring this angle, we know that to say this is 194. So if this is 194, so if this is uh, 194, 
it means that we're going to measure starting from this point, going this side. So when we reach this point, we have we have reached 180 degrees. So 194 will, will be somewhere there. So this will be like this. So this is 194. So now to get this angle here, they are asking us to write um, the trig ratios uh, as, I mean, as trigonometric ratios of uh, positive acute angles. So whenever you hear the word acute, just know we're talking about an angle that is less than 90 degrees. So any angle less than 90 degrees is um, called an acute angle. Any angle that is greater than 90 degrees is called uh, the obtuse angle. And then any angle that is, um, uh, that is uh, uh, over 108 degrees is called a reflex angle. Okay, so here we've been told to write the acute angle. Hence, we're looking for this theta here. So how can we get this part? Um, having known what the, this line, this straight line to say it's 180 and this one is 194. How can we get that? So that one is gotten by subtracting, um, by subtracting uh, 180 from 194. So we are going to say, 194 minus 180. So the answer there that we're going to get will simply just be 14, 14 degrees. Yeah, so that is 14 degrees. And then they want us to write it as a positive um, angle. So remember, uh, re remember what we said in this, um, in this uh, quadrant, sine is positive. So meaning uh, the sine of, uh, sine of uh, negative uh, 194, so sine of negative 194 simply just be a positive answer. Hence, we can write sine uh, negative 194 as the same as sine 14 degrees. So this one, the answer for this one is simply just sign 14 degrees. That's the answer. So we'll do the same even for this one. So for this one, we have cos 481. Yeah, so cos 481 degrees. So this one is also simple. We know to say, this is the x, y plane, and then we have zero degrees there. We have 90, we have 180 degrees. Then this, uh, this part is 270 degrees. So if we move from this point, since it's a positive angle, it means that we're moving anti in an anti-clockwise direction. So if we move from this point, we go like this, we go like this, we reach there, it means that we've moved 100 and uh, rather 360 degrees because at this same point we also have 360 degrees it means that we've moved 360 degrees but so for us to move um 360 degrees uh, i mean from 360 degrees for us to reach 481 degrees we have um yeah so for us to reach 400 and um, 481 degrees we have another angle this side. We have another angle which will move, it will, will move something like this um, magnitude. So the angle will be somewhere there. So this distance from there to there is the, is the obtuse angle. And then the accurate angle they want us to find is simply just this part. So this one is the angle that we want to find because they want us to get the acute and not the obtuse. So the obtuse angle is the magnitude that we're going to move from this point up to that point. So how do we find that? So we simply just subtract um, um, 360. We say, uh, we say 481 minus 360 degrees, which gives us 121. So 121 is this is this, um, oh, rather, 121. So it's this um, 
angle here. So this angle here is uh, the 121 we have found there, but we want this angle. So how do we get that? So we say 180 because we know that this is a straight line. So we say 180 minus 121. So when you subtract uh, one, 121 from 180, we get um, 59 degrees. So when you say 180 degrees minus uh, 121, we're getting 59 degrees. So this 59 degrees is the acute angle which they want us to find. But because in the second quadrant, remember what we said, only sign is positive because this angle is in the second quadrant. So only sign is positive here, meaning for course we have to add the negative there. So for course, we have to add a negative hence We can write it saying cos 481 degrees is equal to negative cos, yeah, negative cos 59 degrees. So this is what we are going to write as the answer. Yeah, so we move on to the next question. Hope uh, we are understanding what I'm doing. So tan 185, so tan 185 is straightforward. So we know that to say this is uh, zero degrees, this is 180 degrees, then 185 degrees will simply just be there. So 180 will end there. Then this remaining part means that is this part is a five degrees. So this five degrees, remember we said all students take calculus. This is how you can master this. So in the first quadrant, all um, I mean all trig ratios are positive. In the second quadrant, only sign is positive. In the third quadrant, tan is positive. In the fourth quadrant, cos is positive. But remember. We're looking for tan 185. So tan 185 can also be written as so tan 185 uh, degrees can also be written as tan five degrees. So if tan was negative in the third quadrant, we would have included a negative in front. But since tan is positive in the third quadrant, hence we just uh, write it the way it is. We just leave it like that as a positive. Yeah, some applies to this one, you do the same. So 331, so we know to say when we move to this point up to that point, we've moved 180 degrees, this point. Then from there to there, we've moved 270 degrees. Then from there to there, we've moved 360 degrees. But how do we find uh, sine 333? So sine 333 will, will be somewhere there because we know to say this line is also 360 degrees. So tan 330, uh, sine 333 will be there. So let me just draw something else. So we have zero degrees there and 360 degrees and that, at the same point. And then here we have 180 degrees. We have 90 degrees there and we have 270 degrees. So we know to say this 331 is in between uh, 360 and 270. So the angle is expected to be in this quadrant. Yeah, so which is the fourth quadrant. But in the fourth quadrant, we know to say it's only cos theta, which is uh, positive. So to find this answer, we are going to say uh, 360 degrees minus 331 degrees. So you get your answer to be. 29. So you're getting 29 degrees as your answer. So now we can write this trig ratio as sine, uh, we, we can say sine 331 degrees is simply just equal to negative sine 29 degrees. Why am I adding a negative in front? Because I know to say in the fourth quadrant, only cos is positive. The rest of the trig ratios are negative. That's why I've added a negative because its angle is falling in the fourth quadrant, but sine is negative in the fourth quadrant. Yeah, so do we have any questions before I can proceed?
Yes, I don't understand how you found C. C, which one is C? 185. All right, so, yes. okay. So 185, I said we have zero degrees there. Then we also have uh, 90 degrees there. Then we have 180 degrees there. So if I move from this point up to that point, it means that I've moved, um, uh, I've moved uh, 180 degrees. And then for me to get 185, it means that I just have to move a five degrees going forward like this. So this would be like this. So this is already up to this point. This is already 180. So now if I want to move 185, it means that I'll move a bit inside like that. And remember, so yeah, remember we are still dealing with a, with a quadrant. So we have in the first quadrant, all trig ratios are positive. In the second quadrant, only sign is positive. In the third quadrant, it's only done. Then in the fourth quadrant, um, cos is positive. And then, so this angle from there to there is 180 degrees. Now, for us to get the value of this remaining part here, we simply just have to subtract 185, uh, rather we subtract 180 from 185. So when we say 185 minus 180 degrees, we're getting uh, five degrees. So this is the value of this angle there. So this five degrees is the one that we're going to replace there because it's also an acute angle. And that's what the question is asking us to find. So we can say that 185 degrees is equal to than five degrees. So that is exactly what we are supposed to find. We have okay. another question. Okay. Right. So let's but then, on. since it's in the third quadrant, aren't you supposed to subtract from 270? No. No. Yeah. Uh, when you say 270, when you say 270 minus 185, the answer will be 85. Then when you say turn 85, uh, turn 85 will, will give you something else. It will not give you the same as turn 185. Yeah, so you subtract from, uh, okay, let me just say, you should always be subtracting from this um, X axis, the angles in the X axis. So it's either 360 degrees or, 180 degrees. Yeah, so that's uh, that's what you are supposed to be doing. Just as you just have to be subtracting from 180 or 360 and not 90 and 270. Okay, so let's quickly move on to the next question. <clears throat> 